Hi there, in the last video I went through the integration of exponential functions and we integrated these exponential functions using the standard results or standard related results. Okay, now in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate uh, some exponential functions using substitution. Okay, so if you cannot integrate your exponential function using standard related results uh, the next step is to try substitution. Okay, so let's let me show you with the aid of the example. So here's an example. So example one. Let me underline that quickly. So here's one such example: the integration of say four uh, x into e to the power two x squared plus five with respect to x. Okay, so in this example, there's no way you can use the standard related results or the standard results that we've seen in a previous video. Uh, so I would recommend to try substitution next. And if substitution doesn't work, there is another method that we'll see in a future video. Okay, so when you try substitution, okay. The substitution that I would recommend is to choose u as your substitution to be the term which is the power of your exponential function. So whatever the power of your exponential function is, take u, your substitution, to be that term, first of all. Okay, so that is what I would highly recommend. So in this case, the power of my exponential function is 2x squared plus 5. So I'm going to take my substitution u to be 2x squared plus 5, okay? So in the second stage of substitution, we're going to calculate du over dx. So if we differentiate u, the answer is going to be 4x, okay? And we could rewrite this as du, and that is 4x dx, okay? So remember the idea of substitution. The idea is we're replacing the terms x and dx in our integral by terms u and du, okay? And if you're unfamiliar with the idea of substitution, I did uh, create a video on substitution with some examples. So I'll provide a link to that video in the description below, okay? So back to this example. I like to stop and think at this stage, so hence the black star means stop and think. So stop and think meaning go back to your integral in question, okay? So in this case, I can replace the 4x dx, so let me take a green pen, 4x dx, I can replace that by du, okay? And as I said before, the 2x squared plus 5, we can replace by u. So at this stage, um, substitution is working. So let's continue to the next step, step number three. So by substitution, let's rewrite this integral. So as I said before, 4x dx will replace that by du. And we're left with, so let's tick these two terms, 4x dx those terms have been replaced. So we're left with e to the power 2x squared plus 5 and we replace that by u. Okay? So we're, we're going to integrate e to the u now. And when we integrate e to the u with respect to u, that's a standard result. You're going to get e to the u plus c since we don't have any limits in our integral. And in the last step, step number 4, Let's write this back in terms of x. So let's replace the u by 2x squared plus 5. So since u is equal to 2x squared plus 5, that means that the answer to this integral would be e to the power u. In this case, let's replace by 2x squared plus 5 here, plus c. So that is the final answer to this integral. Okay? So let me stress that if you can't, cannot use the standard result or the standard related results, try substitution next. And when you 
use substitution for exponentials, I would um, try first of all your substitution for u to be the power of your exponential function. Okay, so let me write that out in red. So first try u to be the power of your exponential function e. Okay, so I would highly recommend doing that first. So mostly that would work and your substitution would work uh, as a result. Okay, so uh, let's try another one. Okay, so on the reverse, here's an example number two. Quick red pen and a ruler. Let's underline this. Uh, let's integrate, in this case, let's integrate, um, let's say, 2 sec squared 2x e to the power tan 2x uh, with respect to x. So 2 sec squared 2x uh, e to the power tan 2x with respect to x. So we can't use the standard result. So the next step is to try substitution. Now the power of my exponential is tan 2x. So I'll take u to be tan 2x first of all. And let's work out du over dx. So du by dx when we differentiate tan 2x, we're going to get 2 sec squared 2x. Okay. So by calculating du over dx, you know that substitution is working because the remaining term is related to what you have for du over dx. So if I rewrite uh, this for du, du will be 2 sec squared 2x dx. So at this stage, let's stop and think. So in our integral, 2 sec squared 2x dx, we can replace that by du, okay? And we're left with e to the power and tan 2x will replace that by u, okay? So that takes us nicely to the next step, step 3. So by substitution, so let's rewrite this integral. So as we said, 2 sec squared 2x uh, dx will replace that by du. And let's tick these terms, meaning that we've replaced them. And we're left with e to the power tan 2x, which is replaced by u. Okay. So now we have a standard term to integrate. So when you integrate e to the u with respect to u, that's a standard result. You're going to get e to the u plus c. And that takes us to the last step. So let's write it back in terms of x. Let's replace the u by tan 2x here. So since u is equal to tan 2x, that means that the answer is e to the power u, which is tan 2x, okay, plus c. So that is the solution to this very problem, example two. So with example three, I have this definite integral having limits zero and one, and we're gonna integrate five x e to the power x squared with respect to x, okay? So in this integral, I know that we can't use the standard result, okay? So that's impossible. Let's try substitution, okay? So my power is x squared, so I'm gonna take u to be that term x squared. That takes me to step two. Let's work out du over dx. So when I differentiate, we're gonna get two x, okay? By calculating du over dx, that term is related to the remaining terms that I have. So for me, substitution is working. So du is gonna be two x dx. This is where I like to stop and think.
okay? And if I go back to my integral, I have 5x dx. So let me highlight those terms in green. So I have 5x dx in my integral, but currently I have a 2x dx, so we need to make this 5x dx, okay? So what you could do is, you could divide by 2 first, so 1 over 2 du will be x dx, so first you can divide by 2, and then to get the 5x dx, you can multiply this by 5 throughout, okay? So if you multiply this equation throughout by 5, you're going to get 5 over 2 du, that will be 5x dx. So as you can see, you can replace the 5x dx, 5x dx by 5 over 2 du, okay? Now, everything's well and good so far, but we have limits. So I'm going to calculate the new limits of integration using the substitution, okay? So we'll call that step number three. First of all, let me remind you how to calculate the new lower limit, okay? So I showed you the process in the previous video that I did on substitution, and again, I'll provide a link uh, to that video in the description below, okay? So be sure to check out that video if you haven't. Back to this example, let me show you how to work out the new lower limit. The idea is you take your substitution, u is x squared, you take the old lower limit, so x is equal to zero, and you put that into your substitution. So u's going to be x which is zero squared, so that will give you zero, and this zero is your new lower limit, okay? Let's do the same and calculate the new upper limit. So remember the idea, take the substitution, u yeah, as x squared, so take the substitution, take the old upper limit, so the old upper limit is one, okay? So x is equal to one. Put that into your substitution, so u's going to be x which is 1 squared being 1, okay? So these are the new limits for you for your new integral, okay? So that takes us nicely to the next step. So let's go through the substitution process. So on the reverse side, step number 4. So by substitution, So let's rewrite the integral. Let's remind ourselves. So 5x dx, we're going to replace that by 5 over 2 du, okay? Now, I like to keep my constant outside my integral. So in this case, I'm going to keep the 5 over 2 outside my integral. Remember, you can only keep constants outside your integral. du always goes uh, inside your integral. Okay, so going back, 5x dx we've replaced, and we're left with e to the power x squared, which is going to be replaced by u. So let's include that, e to the power u. So that's been replaced as well. Don't forget the limits. New lower limit, we had uh, 0. So let's include that here. So that is our new lower limit and new upper limit is 1 so let's replace that also here is 1 okay so that is the integral that we need to work out and if you work out the solution to this integral you've worked out the solution to this original problem okay so let's work out the solution to this integral so in this case it's 5 over 2 and when you integrate e to the u with respect to u, that's the standard result. You're going to get e to the u with the limits 1 and 0. So let's replace the limits. So it's 5 over 2, e to the power, upper limit, which is 1, so e to the 1, minus the 5 over 2, e to the power, 
lower limit is zero. And when we simplify this, we're going to have 5 over 2 e to the 1, which is the same as e, minus e to the 0, we know it's 1, so minus 5 over 2. And you can take a common factor of 5 over 2, leaving you with e minus 1. So that should be the final solution or the final answer to example 3. So that ends this example and here are the steps. But the most important thing in this video is if you can't use the standard uh, result for exponential functions when integrating, try substitution next and try, so this is my tip for this video, first try u to be, so u is your substitution to be the power of your exponential function and then continue the process of substitution, okay? So this will most probably work, okay? So, that ends uh, this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated and I hope to see you again. Thank you.